The purpose of this demonstration is to show how the mean and the median can be used to measure the center of a uh, distribution. And what we're going to do here is we're first going to click on this uh, line here. We're going to have a point and with one single point this yellow arrow appears. Now this yellow arrow implies that the mean and the median are both equal and they're at the same location. If you draw a second point we can see that the mean and the median are still equal and they are located exactly between these two. But if you add a third point, now the green arrow is marking the average or the mean and the red arrow is marking the median. And with these three points, the median is here. If we add in another point here on the other side, we have moved the mean and the median back together. And we have, and you can see from these data values, we have a symmetric looking distribution. Now what happens if we start adding more data values that are bunched up over on one side? And we start building what appears to be a dot plot of these data values. What we can see here and as we've seen throughout this demonstration is that when the data is bunched up on one side, the mean and the median are fairly close together, but these two data values out here is what is pulling the mean toward that. And this is what we mean about the mean being sensitive to outliers. These two data values here could qualify as outliers and they're pulling that average toward them. This is also the reason why we would say this particular distribution is skewed to the right because the mean is on the right side of the median or we can say that the mean is being pulled to the right. And if we add in some more data values to stretch this out toward the uh, those outliers there we can see that the mean and median still maintain their separation. If I remove a data value or two that is far away from the group, we can see that the mean starts getting pulled back toward the median. And this is what we mean when we are comparing the mean and the median for a data set in that we have this kind of behavior. Now if we take a look at another example Let's say that I have a small data set and I have data values over here. And here we can see we have very large separation. Uh, we have a lot more data values away from this group than we do over here. So it's kind of pulling the mean toward them. And the median again marks the midpoint or the 50% mark for this uh, data set. And again, if you start building up values for these guys toward the middle portion, the mean starts getting closer and closer to that median. And if we build data values further away, we can see that we are getting the mean to shift toward these data values. And again, this is what we mean when we say that the mean is sensitive to these outliers and the median is not as sensitive. As you can see here, the median did not move very far when I added these data values in, but the mean did move pretty far to accommodate that. And this is how we go through and compare the mean and the median when we are looking at a data set.